Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Let's talk, talk today about common issue with uh, indication weight and no power on bike. And doesn't matter, it's brand new, just from the box and you have this uh, issue or you like were riding for a little bit or you were riding for a while and it's happened like no power, weight and uh, doesn't matter when you press start button, nothing change. Kick stand up, nothing change. So, let's talk first about like how the system working, right? So, when I put like ignition on, I have indication weight and I press like button start and now I have ready. Good. When I apply brake, right away I have indication like weight, right? Weight. This one or this one, doesn't matter. So it's switch to weight. Same with kickstand. I put kickstand down, it's weight. So here like just three sensors what can give you weight uh, sign. It's two brakes lever, levers and one kickstand. That's it. That's all what you have. So if you have uh, weight indication, it means you have to check these three points. Uh, I'm not going to talk about kickstand now, but uh, the best way to check if it's kickstand or not, it's to remove this cover and there like you have plug, uh, looks like triangle and disconnect sensor because sometimes the wires here, as you can see, uh, you see the condition on wires, uh, sometimes they are broken and create shortage and you can have like weight light. So it's first, second, let's say just like this, you see I have weight and what to do on MX4, so Sting R, it's kind of easier than on a MX3, why? Because for an MX3 to disconnect the brake sensors, you have to open a tray, you have to remove battery and you have to find the plugs inside, big gray plugs. Uh, here everything simple. We just have uh, wires what going from the uh, brake levers and we can disconnect these wires just here. So I just recommend disconnect both and see if the weight is gone and you're ready to go. Connect one, okay, still ready to go. Connect second one and you have like indication weight. It means something happened with your uh, sensor. So, like example here, that's what I have plug, and that's what I have weight, and if I gonna disconnect, you see, echo ready. Okay, now I know, the problem is here, on this area, not on this area, it's nothing to the wire harness, nothing, because when I disconnect this, I remove this shortage. Okay, so... In couple moments I gonna show you how to fix it, but first I gonna show, I want to show you uh, how it looks kind of inside and why it's like this. Okay, let's say, let's see this. Uh, I hope it's visible just like this and I don't know because like too much lies from the... Anyway, so that's your brake uh, sensor chamber inside brake uh, lever inside like chamber. So this one is the wire. This one your nut, like kind of bolt with hole inside. This piece itself, it's a sensor itself. After small spring, what is really important, if you ever change sensor or completely remove it, make sure you, you remove this spring and save it. Because if you're gonna miss it, you will be in trouble. So you have to order it and buy something, I mean. Uh, here, on the bottom we have small Allen key uh, control screw what kind of like jam this uh, bolt because this bolt adjustable and this is just like holding this bolt on place this bolt 7 mil millimeters and this Allen key 2 millimeters so the how it's working when you squeeze your brake brake lever this distance become like smaller and when you have like magnetic connection here 
on that time this sensor is like shortened inside and uh, you have weight on your uh, dash right so what happened sometimes this is out of adjustment and it's too close and doesn't matter if you press lever or not it's already here magnetic connection I, I'm saying like magnetic connection like it's like for, for simplest uh, they're kind of magnetic field but doesn't matter uh, so this distance is too close so what we have to do we have to remove this sensor little bit out so in that case you have to have a little bit free play on your lever because if you don't have this free play it means when you're pressing and releasing if it's not going up back like for um, if it's millimeters like half millimeter or like if it's like imperial system it's like 116 or 132 and it's it's gonna be enough to send signal to this sensor and says yeah the brakes is on so that's why it's weight so that's why we have to adjust this piece how to adjust it i'm gonna show you now so the easiest way i just like release my bolts and i put everything up so you can see better that's how it looks here so here on the bottom so here i'm pretty sure it's visible here on the bottom we have a uh, allen key allen key what we have to release you see right two millimeters we just release don't need to be it's you don't have to unscrew completely because it's just kind of touching this uh, screw what i was talking about on the picture with wire so now most time it's you can do it by hands you can do it by hands or seven millimeters range just to start for me here i can do by my hands and now when i open it a little bit i can feel like i press this wire in and i can feel spring inside i can feel spring inside so now what we're gonna do now i'm gonna connect wire wire connected i'm watching my oh it's already like ready anyway i'm watching my uh, display and I'm uh, pressing the lever and I see it's like I just touch lever and it says like wait right away you see that's not good because like example I prefer sometimes not sometimes I would say very often I prefer to write with one finger on brakes it means if I gonna put like one finger on brake it's gonna be right away applied no power and weight on the display so that's why I need to open it more and that time i'm gonna use range i would open it more okay let's see what now echo so now i have about it's still not enough for me because it's like quarter inch I prefer to have a little bit more just like that so now I have if it's full this one is yeah so I have like quarter inch probably free play and that's what is like perfect for me that's what I really like wait echo wait echo yeah so this play is for me that's exactly what i need and after that i just put this allen key screw back it don't have to be over tight it's just hand tight very easy so now you cannot unscrew this by hand it's not shaking good but wire still under uh, spring so kind of like feels spring loaded it's from both sides so this wire have to you have to feel this like spring that's pretty much it since that 
everything working uh, just like that yeah so I just like probably you notice it I remove the handguard from this side and mirror just to make this uh, side easier to show you how it's working uh, just preventing the questions about what's going on here it's just my uh, custom made I did the uh, turn signals <coughs> so the front and back and my brake light is also active for both levers and without disconnecting sensors so everything working power off and everything working but this one is uh, thematic from other video if it's gonna be interesting uh, that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful for you guys have a good day